Family and friends, I now have the honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jared and Alexa First Brothers. I kept this short because uh, it's going to get extended a little bit from some, some tears, so apologies for that. So <clears throat> um, instead of writing traditional vows, uh, I think this ceremony is proof enough of my willingness to spend forever with you. <laughs> so I'm going to take a moment to brag about you a little bit and show how awesome you are. <laughs> You're never going to make Jared's gonna cry immediately. He's gonna see me and he's gonna cry immediately. And then he will cry for the entire ceremony. And then also again <laughs> for the first dance. And then also for the next four hours. Good. He's a crier. <laughs> yes, it'll be great. Goose poop off. I can't, you have to come over here though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you so much. Uh, oh, you've got a great girl there. <laughs> great girl there. <laughs> yes. Is she back, yeah, she's she back is there? Yeah, she is back there. She's driving, she's driving up right now. Well guys, here we are. The long awaited evening is here and you both look great. I'm positive that there have been many days and hours of dreaming and planning for this. Alexa, I probably imagine that you even thought about this when you were a little girl. And uh, <laughs> maybe not with him. But, uh, but now that we're here, and, uh, I'll keep the teasing to the minimum. How fantastic it's finally to be here. Jared's speech at my wedding was pretty good, so uh, I hope I do okay. Um, I just wanted to thank uh, Dave and Nikki and my folks and Jared and Alexa. Um, you guys put in a ton of work, and this has been an amazing event. And I, I, it seems like everybody's having a really great time, and it's beautiful here, and I'm having a good time. So I just wanted to thank you guys so much for putting this together. It's just been a hard year for everyone. <sighs> and it's just been great to be able to spend some time, even though we live really far away together, on, on FaceTime, and we've gotten to really know Alexa, and she complains about Jared to us, but like, yeah, I lived with him for 18 years. What do you need to know? When you ask him to do something, he says no. You just have to like tell them five more times. And Alexa, it takes a lot to, you know, love somebody like Jared. And he has, <laughs> but, but it's pretty clear why you do. He has amazing qualities and so do you. And you guys just build each other up and it's totally obvious. And we couldn't wish anything but the better for you. So I just want to raise a toast to Jared and Alexa and a beautiful life and of wealth and happiness and good times. So, to the bride and groom.
each and every one of you so very much. Um, my sister was about two years old when she asked my parents for a best friend, and then they had me about nine months later, so you're welcome. Um, not only was I her sister, I by chance got to be her built-in best friend, her built-in maid of honor, which is why I'm here today. I have a How Do You Make a Tissue Dance. Oh, shut up. You put a little boogie in it. I hate that. That's good. All right. All right. Now I'm going to watch. Thanks, Joanne. Hate it. My sleeves are. The sleeves on the dress. I want to see Jared cry. It's going to be great. <laughs> 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 One, two, three, kissy face. Like Ron said at the ceremony today, the very first time I met Jared, I did say that they were going to be together, but more specifically, I said that one day she was going to marry that man. I am so glad that six years later, here we are. Alexis always said to me that she wanted somebody who was gonna treat her like a princess, but somebody to treat me like a queen. And Jared has done that and more. Jared has been the brother to me that I never got to have, but luckily, my sister got to marry him and now he's my family as well. Jared, thank you for treating me like family and being the best person in the world for my sister, who I am so lucky that is not only just my sister, but my best friend and my built-in maid of honor if one day I ever get to that point in my life. <laughs> I cannot say anything more than this, so cheers to the groom and the princess, everybody. I love your intelligence. I love your desire to always improve and be better and smarter than you were the day before. I love your desire to settle for nothing but the best in every aspect. I love your giggle when I say something nice about you. Standing here today feels like the top of the world. But in the moments when our Ferris wheel touches down, I promise to love you how you are and push you to be all you will become. I promise to accept you for your flaws and mistakes the way you have always loved me through mine. No, I'm supposed to cry. <laughs> no. You're supposed to keep it together. I love how you encourage me in my passions and my, my goals and desires. I love that if I'm having a bad day, you have a superhuman ability to carry both of us until I get better. By future of the authority invested in me by the state of California as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, in the presence of God and all these assembled witnesses, it is my great joy and my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. The vows you have given are never to be broken. What God has joined together, let no man separate. Now you may kiss your bride. <laughs>
be your shoulder to cry on, your guiding light, and your best friend. You have always been the one I cannot be without. I have loved you yesterday, I love you today, and as your wife, I will love you forever for all our moments to come. I love that you understand when I get a cold or flu. It's definitely way worse than the colds and flus you get, and I am not at all overreacting to my symptoms. And most of all, I love you.